Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee Convos. I'm your host, Margaret. So happy Friday. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. It is actually feeling like fall, finally. <clears throat> what is today, October the 3rd? <laughs> it's October 3rd, and we're just now feeling fall. So sadly, I think we might end up just going straight from summer into winter. Anyway, so I was uh, kind of wondering what I was going to talk about today. And sorry, guys, my phone is about to fall out of my hands and um, I probably should have put it on my stand. But anyway, my trainer, Jen, God love her. I love her. I really love her. She is amazing. Um, and uh, not only does she, hey, Regina, hey, Fred. Not only does she work us out at the gym and kick our behinds, but she also works us out emotionally. And she knows how to, you know, hit those places. So I want to share with you guys what she posted on her wall this morning. She posted on her wall and it says, if you are afraid of failure, you don't deserve to be successful. So... <laughs> that started a conversation because I am afraid of failure. So, uh, so then, so that has me questioning, you know, do I deserve to be successful? Which is a question that I've, that I've had anyway, because, um, I mean, I know I've shared with you guys some about my life growing up and that I am biracial and, that for a big majority of my life, like, I haven't been accepted by this person or that person, um, which, again, I'll say that I'm sure that a lot of people suffer from this, not just people that are biracial, but um, because it is has been a part of my life forever, um, you know, um, it's something that I suffer with and <clears throat> no matter how hard I try to get past it, it's always there. And so, um, anyway, so my, my Jen, uh, my, my trainer, Jen, she was like, so what do you, you know, what is it that you're afraid of? And I'm like, well, I'm afraid that I don't deserve to be successful because I have a fear of failure. And then she's like, but what are you afraid of? And I'm like, um, I just said, I'm afraid of failure. So, of course, then I had to mull that over in my head, and, you know, I have her in the back of my head. But what are you afraid of? But what are you afraid of? And the reality of the situation is failure is not something to fear because failure can be a blessing. And I know that that's hard to realize or think um, because, obviously, it's called failure. But some of my greatest lessons have come out of failure. Good morning, Victoria. Um, for example, you know, my, my failed marriage, my first, my first marriage, you know, failed. Good morning, Susan. Um, so that was a failure, but in that failure, like I learned so much. Um, I learned how to grow up. I learned how to be an independent woman. I learned you know, what being a single mom was like so that I can use that knowledge to help other people. I've learned the hurt of divorce so I can use that knowledge to help other people. So failure in and of itself is not something to fear um, and it can be a blessing. But here's the real fear. <laughs> the real fear for me is the fear of rejection. <sighs> I'm sorry, I try not to cry. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get over it so I can talk. <laughs> yeah. So, um, like, I, um, I talked to my husband last week. <laughs> Thanks, Regina. 
about uh, being in this uh, new business. And uh, because it's not my first business, you know, like back in, uh, in 2013, I did the works business and I loved it. I went in, I went all in, you know, um, we spent a lot of money. Good morning, Gervin. Um, we spent a lot of money, uh, just doing that business and trying to make that business work. And, um, it failed. But, of course, again, I learned a lot from that experience. And I learned, um, yeah, I learned a lot of things that I'll be able to do differently in this venture. Not to mention the fact that we did get our daughter-in-law through that experience. So, like, it's priceless. Like, that failure was not... Like, I don't look at that and be like, oh, you know, except for the money. <laughs> but then my husband, he's so wonderful. Um, he's just like, babe, it's just paper. Like, it's just paper. And, you know, I, I can't let the fear that this won't work hold me back. Because like I said, like last week, I think, like I said, like, like but what if it does work? You know, what if it is successful? I mean, already, I have people that are feeling so much better and using our coffee. And for me, that's the biggest blessing. That's the, that's the reward. Um, making money, yeah, sure, that would be nice. But... The biggest reward and the biggest blessing to me is seeing people be helped through it. So, um, I know I'm talking about business because I'm in the business, but I also apply this, also have to apply this to, hey Julie, to my, um, my weight loss journey and my workouts. Like, um, I'm like being healthy and doing what it takes to be healthy is not easy. It's hard. Um, there are times when, you know, you get that, you know, you know, feeling and you're like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm, you know, and you're all gung ho and you're, and you're whatever, whatever. But in reality, <laughs> more often than not, the alarm goes off at five or five thirty, and you're like, Oh no, I have to get out of bed. And I'm tired, especially with the um, especially with the weather change, because it's harder to get out of bed when it's cold. Uh, just saying. But once I get there, you know, and I push through, like that's an amazing feeling. But the entire time that I'm there and I'm working out, it's a mind game. Like I really have to overcome a lot in my head, like that I can do it, that I can be successful, that I deserve to be successful. Mm. Woo! I'm so sorry, guys. Um, yeah. Those are the things I struggle with, guys. I know that People look at me, look at my Facebook, look at my videos. You know, a lot of people think that, you know, my life is perfect. I have everything together. But I struggle with stuff just like everybody else. And, uh, but the difference is that I don't choose to stay in that. I choose to push through every day. I choose to fight through it every day. I choose to get up and go to the gym every day and fight that battle that's in here. Uh, and I am successful. Am I where I want to be? Not necessarily. But I'm certainly not where I used to be. And 
I have to learn to celebrate those victories because I'll tell you just a couple of months ago, like I was really going through a hard place where, um, when I looked in the mirror, I was disappointed and it was so frustrating to me because, you know, um, like I even went back and looked at pictures. I looked at older pictures where I was heavier, but I remember feeling like when I took that picture that I felt good about myself. And, but being now, hey Kelly, but being now in a size six and looking in the mirror and still feeling disappointment was utterly frustrating to me. Um, and finally, I just realized that I have to be content with today. I have to be content with the victories from today. I have to celebrate where I'm at today and not focus on that I'm not where I want to be or because the truth is I'm still not where I used to be. And so there's victory in that. Um, but, uh, thanks, Julie. Um, the truth of the matter is that I cannot let my fear of failure or my fear of rejection hold me back. Um, thanks, Susan. You guys, I love you so much. Y'all are so sweet to me and so good to me. I can't let the I can't let my fear hold me back because the reality is there are people that need me. There are people that need you. Um we all have an assignment on our lives and we all have a purpose and there are people that I need to influence. There are people that I need to help. And my goal and my passion um that I have found over the last three years is that I want to inspire and I want to help as many people as I can. And I will not allow fear to hold me back. Is it a battle? Yes. It's just the same. It's the same as the battle that I fight with my food addiction, with my sugar addiction. Um, you know, it's real. I'm being real. You know, I still fight those cravings. I still fight those desires, but I have to fight them and I will continue to fight, um, until there's no breath left in my body because I deserve it. I deserve to be successful and I am going to be successful. Is it going to be easy? No. Is it going to be worth it? Absolutely. And no matter what happens, no matter what the outcome is, uh, I'm going to stay in this fight. And I'm going to take whatever comes and learn from it and continue to grow. Because that's truly what life is all about. So, yeah, I hope that helps somebody. And I hope you guys have a blessed day weekend and enjoy this beautiful weather and God bless you all.